Let's hit our trader blitz now. First up, Rite Aid. Cut the outlook. Stocks down. Jimmy, what do you make of it? Uh, well, it's had a terrible chart to begin with. And I think, <clears throat> you know, the problem here is they're putting the blame on generic pricing and how that's affected their pharmacy. Two things that worry me about that. One, Rite Aid is more the, than just their pharmacy sales. Uh, number two, CVS didn't see, doesn't seem to have the same problems. In fact, while CVS is no hero in terms of its stock chart, it certainly has done a lot better than Rite Aid. Something seems to be very permanently damaged at Rite Aid. Here's some interesting news. Under Armour naming Allianz's Mohamed El Arian to its board of directors October 1st. Josh. Well, I am a huge fan of Mohamed El Arian, so I like to hear this news. You won't find a more globally well-informed person out there. Nice guy. Everyone gets along with him. I'm not sure what he's doing at Under Armour specifically, but I will count on seeing a lot more New York Jets merchandise in stores everywhere. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for you. All right. Newell Brands is on pace for its worst day in more than six months. That's after cutting guidance twice. And that, that's the worst day in more than six months. If you go out longer, you'll see even worse days. Look, th what we're seeing is the unra unraveling of a company that grew by acquisition over a period of time. Have we got an activist in there? I've looked at the stock, just can't get there. Just can't find them in the valuation. I think there's a lot more to do to unwind the debt in the business that aren't performing.